Understandably, a lot of people hope this weather moves on quickly because there's another big weekend on tap for Cincinnati. The Macy's Music Festival begins its two-night run tomorrow at Paul Brown Stadium. And the first Bengals training camp held here in Cincinnati starts on the adjacent practice fields. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is here with attendance expectations for both events. Tom? Well, Clyde, this is the 50th year for the Macy's Music Festival, which got its start in 1962 at the Carthage Fairgrounds. And, of course, it's the firm t first time the Bengals have not gone away to training camp at either Wilmington College or Georgetown College. Of course, the Macy's Music Festival has drawn the top names in entertainment business for years. This year includes Charlie Wilson, Kim, Frankie Beverly and Mays, plus Midnight Star. Organizers say ticket sales are up 20% over last year and hope attendees check out the Bengals practice and other city attractions as well while they're here. We were like in the mid to mid, mid to upper mid 40s last year for the two nights and we're looking at over 50,000 this year for the two nights. Our hope is that they walk out of our practices after seeing an exciting young team on the field. But more importantly, it's nice for them to walk out and enjoy the, fo the things that are happening on the banks, enjoy the restaurants, enjoy downtown, and get comfortable with coming downtown. Now, crews were getting the Bengals practice fields ready today. There's only seating for about 1,600 people in the stands there, so fans are advised to check the team's website or call the team for further information. Of course, many of those practices are going to be held right inside Paul Brown Stadium, which, of course, has a lot more room. And tonight, in about an hour and a half, there'll be a pep rally starting at 645. Now, coming up at 6, I'll introduce you to Os uh, Operation Hospitality, which is a process by which visitors to the city get the best possible customer service. Tom McKee, 9 News, live at Paul Brown Stadium. And he